Good morning, my house family. Have you ever been on a cruise? Well, if you're like me, my mind tends to wander from time to time. And when I've been on a cruise, I often think of the Titanic. As a point of reference for today, have you ever thought about when is a boat really baptized? Well, we have this uh, tradition that is christening a boat, borrowing the name of Christ, christening into launching a boat into water. But we know that the Titanic didn't sink because of the water being under it. The Titanic sank because the water eventually got into every chamber and every room and every corner to submerge it. That's when the Titanic really was baptized. I use this as an example that oftentimes I think as Christians, we think that, you know, being on top of the water is enough. But really the baptism and the full control of the Holy Spirit in our life, in every nook, in every cranny, in every corner, in every private closet, uh, from the top of our head to the soles of our feet, that the Holy Spirit wants to consume our life to empower us, to lead us to life and peace. Thus is our scripture for today. Those who are dominated by the sinful nature think about sinful things. But those who are controlled by the Holy Spirit think about things that please the Spirit. So letting your sinful nature control your mind leads to death, but letting the Spirit control your mind leads to life and peace. R.A. Torrey says, if we think that the Holy Spirit only as an impersonal power of influence, then our thoughts will constantly be, how can I get a hold and use the Holy Spirit? But if we think of him in the biblical way as a divine person, infinitely wise, infinite holy, infinitely tender, then our thoughts will constantly be, how can I let the Holy Spirit get a hold of me and use me? When Paul said that the mind that is led by the Holy Spirit leads to life and peace, it often takes time for me to reflect at areas in my life where I need to pause and allow the Holy Spirit to you know, breathe into me, take over every corner of my life that I'm allowing that the Holy Spirit give me a response, lead me in life and lead me in peace. I would even maybe say that it's kind of like spiritual breathing, that we allow the indwelling of the Holy Spirit coming in to make that difference of what comes out of us. It may sound simple, but truly we need to be submerged or we need to be baptized in the Holy Spirit so that His power is leading our lives to life and peace. God bless you. It's the best way to live.